Vucevic, always a consistent producer. Do fans underrate how much Vucevic helps a team, you think? I do. I think Vuce is that guy that can get you a triple-double on a nightly basis. He's a guy that can play Chicago big foul. minutes for a championship team. Now the starting group for the visitors. Lori Markkinen out there with Derek Favors. Then there's Thomas Sadoransky. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Ogile in at the three. Markkinen up top. Knocked loose. And we're going to have a jump ball. White with the steal. And here are the Bulls now. Got a hand on it. Now Rozier. Pass to Ogile. Market it outside. Now Sadoransky. Just five to shoot. Here's Rozier. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Okay, and Rozier is outstanding at drawing fouls on these kinds of shots. At the line for the away team, Terry Rozier the third. Two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. You know, ball handlers like Rogier lift the whole team. I mean, his personality and attitude keep morale high through the entire game. Free throws good from Rogier. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Ball outside. Picked by Vucevic. Ball into the lane. And he throws it down with one hand. Good at getting into the lane. Ball. I mean, you can see how confident he is on the drive. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Well, people talk about the particular challenges of being a WNBA player. Travel comes up a lot, Candace. How much of those conditions improved since you came into the league? Well, B.I., are we talking about traveling? Because they allow the NBA to travel. Or are we talking about traveling on an airplane? I'm, I'm a little confused. <laughs> you know, we're talking about travel from one city to the next. Okay, I mean, it could be better. But, um, you know, the NBA in the 80s, early 90s, they flew commercial. You know, it's a part of it. Uh, we got to continue to grow our game. And hopefully at some point, we'll be able to get those private PJs. Here's Rozier following the bucket by the Bulls. Oh, steps back and drains the jumper. Even if they saw the step back coming, the defense didn't offer much resistance. Ball finds DeRozan. And he drives in. And he drops in the layup off the glass. This guy just knows how to finish. DeRozan keeps his focus on the basket and delivers. Marketing the pass to Rozier. Pass to Ogilvy. Down to five on the shot clock. Now here's Sadoransky, hounded by ball. And there's the whistle. They'll pin that one on Nikola Vucevic. That's foul number two for him. They're having a hard time with fouls. It's still early, but one more and they'll be over the limit. The Bulls making a switch here. Deadman's checked in. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Rozier with it. Guarded now by Williams. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. So a moment now to see the story for Terry Rozier. Shooting from the away team. Terry Rozier the third. Taking two shots. Shooting two.
And he makes a first. And he makes both free throws. Here are the Bulls with the ball. Well, Candace, one area where the WNBA has dominated the NBA, free throw percentage. Yes. Um, you know, I think that it definitely comes down to our bigs being able to stretch the floor. I don't know whether that has anything to do with playing overseas, but practice a lot of free throws during our career. Now here's Sadoransky. Inside. Favors finds Rozier. Clock at four. And it's blocked by Deadman. Ball with it. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. White against Markinen. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Terry Rozier picks one up. Deft move by White inside. I mean, just look how he finds a way through the foul and gets the shot off. Kobe White at the line for two. First free throw is good. There's so many levels to Kobe White's potential as a scorer. I mean, but he's really impressed me with his ability early on. White hits them both. Here's Sadoransky. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. On the wing, Rozier. Down low. Kicks it out to Markkinen. Now here's Sadoransky. Takes a three. It's hauled in by White. Chicago leading. To the inside. And Williams gets the bucket. On the assist by Ball. What an excellent distributor Zoe is. I mean, he has a knack for getting it to his open teammates. Pass to Rozier. Going inside. Boom! He jams it straight down. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Here's Deadman. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Derek Favors. That's his first foul. Well, Candace, you got in well over a decade in the WNBA. I want to know how the mental aspect of the game helps to compensate for any loss of athleticism, let's just say. NBA loss of athleticism? Man, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm seasoned. That's what I call myself, a seasoned vet. But, you know, honestly, I think it is. The game slows down as you get older. And it doesn't just slow down for you. You can control the game. And change of speed is important. It doesn't matter how um, <clears throat> unathletic you get. Pass to White. Dead on a screen. White with it. Now Favors defending. White can't hit. Nice work to get good position inside. He just can't quite get as good a look as he wants. Back to Rozier. Takes it inside. Here's Ogile. Gets a very good look and converts. Well, I'm impressed with Rozier's growth as a distributor. He's capable of making some nice passes. Pass to Williams. Deadman a screen. Williams into the lane. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Now here's Rozier. DeRozan with the rebound. That's a shot they're always happy to get, even when he blows the finish. And the dunk by DeRozan. Oh, one of the strongest parts of this game. Zoe is phenomenal at finding ways to get guys involved. Pass to Favors. Favors with a screen on white. 
Favors the pass to Rozier. Sadoransky outside. Clock at six. To the paint. Here's Markkinen. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. The three from Ball. No good on the shot. So the Barons will take it the other way. Pass to Sadoransky. Back to Rozier. That shot off the mark. Playing him tough inside and preventing the layup. Now to get the whole team pumped up. Well, Candace, in women's basketball, a lot of players play overseas when the WNBA isn't in season. You can add to your income, and a lot of players need that income, of course. Can you talk about that aspect of the WNBA versus overseas and where we're going with that? Yes, overseas is honestly where you make your living. For 10 years, I played year-round. WNBA season, October to April, I would go to Russia, and then I would come back and play in the WNBA season again. So it definitely is a grind, but this is, the WNBA is honestly the summer job. Um, playing overseas really does benefit your career. How about the toll on your body that it took? It had to have had a great toll over the years. Yeah, rest, what is rest, okay? I don't, I don't know what that is. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovable. Chicago making some changes. Green's checked in for Williams. Ennis comes in for DeRozan. And it's Caruso in for White. Caruso covered by Sadoransky. Shot clock at six. He shoots. The Bulls with another miss. Baltimore trailing here. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Well, Candace, it's surprising the number of great players who struggle at the free throw line. What advice would you give them? It's interesting. I've had this conversation with Shaq a number of times. Um, I think it's super important. Uh, I sing at the free throw line. It goes back to muscle memory. So you end up taking the thought and the mental aspect out of it and just going back to how you've shot time and time again. Um, that's the biggest thing is continuing that routine and making a repetitive motion. Well, we're all waiting. Let's hear your song. I sing Song Cry by Jay-Z. Same verse every time. Well, we're all waiting. Let's hear you sing your song. <laughs> That's for another game. <laughs> hey, puts up a three. Chicago grabs the miss. Here's Caruso. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. A uh, point guard who can dunk it. Ball is a rarity uh, in more ways than one. Here's Osman. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. That's the first personal foul. Fifth team foul. Shooting for the away team. 
Jenny Osman at the line for two. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And that's good as he hits both shots. Chicago leading. Pass the ball. Here's Deadman. Foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Personal foul. Well, Candace, as you look around the NBA, the art of the flop has a crescendo, let's just say. And the NBA wants to address this. How do you think they'll take these steps to try to eliminate at least part of that part of the game? I think it's just about, you know, regular movement, basketball plays. As a defender, it's hard enough to guard guys like Trey Young and guys like James Harden and Kevin Durant. But then when you add into the extra things that they're able to do to make the defender wrong. So I think as long as it's a basketball play, um, but just like we've seen the kick, how that has changed the way that we protect shooters and how many offensive fouls are called. So I think at some point, the players are gonna adjust to the new rules. Good points. Both good from the line that time. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants in the post. Gordon, the pass to Robinson. Here's Osman. Pass to Gordon. Six on the shot clock. To the wing, right side. Fires from deep. Osman, no good. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. And here is Green. It's tipped. And here's Gordon. Now here's Sadoransky. 13 feet out. It's hauled in by the Bulls. That's a break for the D right there. I mean, he takes advantage of open looks inside more often than not. Oh, and a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Gordon outside for three. Drops in the three. Gordon's got six points. Well, yeah, the touch, the timing. You got to know how Gordon is a threat to shoot off the pass. Timeout, timeout. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Athletes getting involved and making their voices heard on justice and equality, Candace. The WNBA has been on the front lines 
Can you speak to that? Yes, the WNBA has been on the front lines and, you know, just proud to represent this league, a league that stands for equality. Uh, we are a league of all women, 80% African American, um, just down the line. And so we like to pride ourselves on being the voice for the voiceless. Never afraid to speak up. It's always been the case in the WNBA. Here's Caruso. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. It's picked off. And they're pushing it up. Pass to Robinson. Gordon against Ball. Back to Robinson. Out left to the wing. Five on the clock. Here's Sadoransky. Fires it. And off the left side of the rim and swirls in for him. Well, at 6'7", Sanoransky is a huge combo guard with the ability to quickly identify wide-open teammates. Green with a screen on Gordon. Here's Ball, and it's blocked. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Outside, green. Six to shoot. Fires from 14. Can't hit that one. Baltimore leading. And 101 left in the first. Now here's Sadoransky. Guarded closely. Pass to Robinson. Here's Osman. It's rebounded by Deadman. Osman's gone one for three on the night. Outside, Green. There's 31 seconds left to play in the first. There's Ball with a three. Buries it from three. Ball's got his third basket on the night right there. It's critical that Ball keeps hitting his shot. It will only improve his confidence moving ahead. And just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. Oh, man, so unselfish. He's doing a great job creating for others and, and making pinpoint passes. Now here's Ball. There's 10 seconds left in the first. Pass to Caruso. And a miss there on the triple. A big-time effort for Terry Rozier, providing a lot of energy for the Baltimore Barons. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. Back after this. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovable. Good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And now we get a little perspective here on how the hustle game has been for Baltimore. They deserve a lot of credit for the defense they've played in the paint here early. Contesting shots, blocking shots, just making life difficult on their opposing shooters in general. You know what else, guys? Defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight and turn them into points. They've got Alex Caruso, Patrick Williams out there with Nikola Vucevic. Then it's DeMar DeRozan, and it's White in at the shooting guard position. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Now here's DeRozan. He takes it in, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Laurie Markkinen. That's foul number two for him. First team foul. DeRozan outside. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Vucevic. Second shot opportunity, and there the rejection Robinson against Vucevic Robinson passes to Rozier 
Here's Ojale. Here's Favors. Here's Ojale. And there's the foul. It's on Kobe White. Kobe White. That's foul number two for him. I appreciate the aggression, but that's already his second foul. He, he's got to play it a little safer now. Chicago on D. They trail by one. Here's Rozier. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Well, you need a decision maker to be running the pick and roll, and Rozier is the man for that. He reads the defense very well. Williams, a screen on Robinson. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Derek Favors. That's his third foul so far. He was hoping to avoid a third foul before the breakup. Now, he might have to sit out until halftime. Here in the second quarter, a little over a minute of play. Vucevic, a screen on Rozier. Caruso. He needs to break out of this funk as soon as possible. Still scoreless in the second quarter. Marketing against Williams. Marketing outside. Chicago foul. Patrick Williams. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Robinson against DeRozan. Five to shoot to the right side. Here's Ogile. Denied. He's using this athleticism to wipe away shots. I mean, White's timing on the block right there. Sensational. Launches it. The rebound by Ogile. Rozier outside. Into the lane. Oh, DeRozan with the block. Here's Williams. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to be on Derek Favors. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. At the line for Chicago. Patrick Williams. Two shots. Two shots. Max on the first. The first free throw is good. And Williams drops them both. Now Rozier. He's got 10. Pass to Robinson. Rozier with a screen on White. Robinson into the lane. Not going to go that time. And Chicago will go the other way with it. Defeated by Detroit in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. It was, frankly, embarrassing. I was shocked by their disorganization, and I think they were, too. They just had nothing going for them. They, they look very defeated out there. And they pick up two. And DeRozan, just so crafty on those moves, slips right through the contact for the finish. Rozier with it. Picked up by DeRozan. Stolen by Caruso. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Jumps up. White can't hit. Baltimore trailing here. Robinson passes to Rozier. Marking it outside. And there's just one, one foul. foul now away from the penalty. Patrick Williams. That's his third personal foul. Third team foul. He shoots a three. DeRozan with the rebound. DeRozan's got his fourth rebound in this one. Right side white. DeRozan outside. Outside white. Just five on the clock. Picked by Vucevic. The three ball. Caruso misses. 
I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, he just hit a rough patch. He's trying to climb out of it, but he hasn't been successful. Now here's Rozier. He's got 10. Driving to the basket. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Yeah, and, and for Rozier, it's, it's been this way all night. Using his athleticism to get to his spots and, and making good on his opportunity. White, the pass to Vucevic. Here's Caruso. Vucevic, a screen on Marketing. Williams, the rebound by Ojale. Baltimore leading. Outside Robinson. Pass to Marketing. Uses the glass on the layup. Marketing. Really, Marketing isn't just an outside threat. He's more than capable of capitalizing inside. White with it. Driving inside. Count it. Good heads up basketball. Sees an opening and capitalizes. And the Barons with possession here. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Market it outside. Pass to Rozier. They set a pick. There's the triple. Rebound by the Bulls. Williams has got four rebounds in the game. Here's Caruso. Now DeRozan. Got a piece of it. Robinson with a steal. Pass to Ogilvie. Robinson with it. Now here's Markkinen. The 11-footer. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And here is DeRozan. Outside White. Williams a screen on Robinson. Blocked! I love Rozier putting that much effort into his D. Let's see more of the same in every possession. It's hauled in by White. Chicago trailing here. Here's Caruso. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to White. Vucevic, a screen on Robinson. Here's White. And again, no good by Chicago. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. Robinson finds Rozier. No luck on that one. And Chicago will go the other way with it. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would tonight. Pass to White. Here's Vucevic. Here's Caruso. DeRozan outside. Driving in. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. I love how he takes good angles on drives to the rim. DeRozan has a nice fluidity to his game.
Chicago making some changes. Green's checked in for Williams. Ennis comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Ball in for Caruso. Sadaransky outside. Pass to Osman. And here's Gordon. A shot to stop the drought. Oh, he trades the three, and he'll go to the line for one more. Kobe White picks one up. Deadman's checked in for Vucevic. For the away team, Eric Gordon. Shooting one. One shot. healthy Gordon is extremely effective an incredible scorer who fills up the stash sheet. Chicago with the ball it's a three-point game White the pass to ball here's Ennis but no scoring yet from him but that's likely to change oh they get a hand on it Gordon with it pass to Sadaransky Markkinen with a screen on ball. Sadaransky goes in, and he bangs it home with one hand. Uh, Sadaransky can get wily on the drive. I mean, able to duck and dodge his way to the shot. To the middle. Here's White. Ooh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Hits the trifecta. Gordon. Gordon's got 13. And now he's dropped two three-pointers in each quarter. Now here's Ball. Covered by Sadaransky. Now here's Ball. Seven points in the game with the drive. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. This is such a skill for penetrating. The ball is attacking the lane like this. It forces the defense to act. Lonzo Ball at the line for two. And he drops the first. They've been flawless at the line this quarter. They need to stay aggressive and keep drawing fouls. That'll help them chip away at the lead. And so Ball nails both of them. Well, he's an all-around player. Lonzo's combination of size and playmaking ability in his position is truly unique. Pass to Gordon. Back to Sadaransky. Ball with a steal. The finish! And he caps off the break with a monster slam. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. Oh, exactly right. Momentum shifting plays like that can change the tone of a game. Marking it from long range. Rebound by the Bulls. Pass to White. ball. It's Ennis on the wing. Takes a 13-footer. And again, it's Long Chicago. Ball. Just an amazing ball handling. Sometimes balls move with the rock or flat out unguarded. Ball's gone a nice 5 of 8 shooting from the floor. Gordon with it. And he lobs it up top. Plays out. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Bulls. Ball. Unforced turnovers. They'll drive your coach insane. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. Here's Deadman. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Laurie Marketing. Man, good whistle there. 15 foul. 
At the line for the Bulls, Dwayne Dedman taking two shots. Two shots. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. Ojale, he's checked in for Marketing. also good so he hits both free throws zero wasted trips they're doing their job at the line now a timeout called by Baltimore they just committed too many fouls while you don't want to give up easy looks you also don't want to give away points it's been a non-stop parade to the free throw line free teacher makes the noise all right look who's coming out of the court get up and get fouled for the lovable November. Let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. You look at Chicago in second now, but wanting to claim that top seed eight and a half games behind. Checking out Chicago, you have to really give it to them. I mean, they are backing up all the preseason hype. They've been outstanding early. Well, we know what they're capable of, and these fellas aren't waiting around. They're putting the hammer down. I mean, not holding anything back. Now here's Sadaransky. Gordon outside. Pass to Sadaransky. Out to the right wing. Sure, from three-point range. Five points in the game. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. White against Gordon. Green with a screen on Gordon. It's White with a drive. And that's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Bulls basketball. Here's White. Six points for him. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one on Gordon. Yeah, playing fast is what White does. Man. Must be exhausted to chase him now. Sometimes you gotta follow. At the line for the Bulls, Kobe White. At the line for two. And he can't get the first one. And 
And the second free throw is good. And the Barons with possession here. And Thomas Sadaransky picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Team is in the penalty. Here's Ball. 13 points in the game. Pass to White. We've got 123 left in the first half. Devin a screen. Shot clock at six. And in it. Here we go. Shot blocked. Well, Candace, so happy you could be with us tonight. Thanks, as always, for your insights. Thanks so much, Brian. This is great. I'm looking forward to the next one. Hey, anytime Candace stops by, we know we're going to hear something interesting. I agree, B.A. She's got a great perspective of the game. I mean, she sees it from the view of a player, a coach, and a fan. Sadaransky, and he jams it home with authority. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Here's Ennis. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Here's White. Outside for Green. Pass to Ennis. Goes up again. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. A little hesitant. Maybe he thought the D was tighter on him than it really was. And here's Gordon. He's guarded by White. White against Gordon. Seventeen foot shot on the way. Good on the jump shot. Gordon's got fifteen points. Uh, a good guard like Gordon makes his team a priority. Jumper isn't fancy, but his points. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. It's the Barons up by four. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And we hope you've enjoyed the absolutely stirring intellects of Shaq and Kenny. Now it's time for the second half. Was that sarcasm, Ernie? It was, Shaq. Get him. Easy, big fella. Easy. I don't even know what stirring means.
second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Without question, Eric Gordon displaying his skills today. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? You keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. And Baltimore, looking at who they've got, Thomas Sadaransky is out there with Terry Rozier. Then there's Jetty Osman. Then there's Derek Favors. And it's Ojale in at the three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Sadaransky's got his third bucket of the night. Love the energy here in the third. Trying to take control now of this contest. They came out the locker room with fresh. I mean, they've been the stronger team since halftime. No doubt. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And defying the analytics trend, DeRozan's favorite shot still remains the mid-range jumper. I mean, they've tried to stretch him out with uneven results. Maybe better to surround him with three-point shooters, create space in the medium range area to maximize his effectiveness. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from DeRozan. And the NBA is always a coaching carousel, Chris. Sometimes teams just want a new voice. You think that can make a difference? Oh, yeah, I've seen it. It does. I mean, a fresh start can sometimes energize the team. It wakes players up to, to dig a little deeper. And finally, it puts everyone on notice to say, listen, we've, we, we found the problem. Now, if we keep losing, you could be next. And so he hits both. You know, DeRozan has been lucky. He gained so much valuable experience in his career playing on diverse All-Star and Olympic teams. Now here's Sadoransky. He has seven. Here's Rozier. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got rebound number five here tonight. Pass the ball. Now here's White. Picked by Vucevic. 11 feet out. The rebound by Favors. Favors has got five rebounds in the game. Here's Ojale, covered by Vucevic. Pass to Favors. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Favors has got his first two points. A qualified interior scorer. Favors uses size and skill to beat his man. Out of bounds. Bulls ball as Chicago keeps possession. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Ball finds DeRozan. He can't get that one to fall. So the Barons will take it the other way. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Pass to Ojale. Marking it outside. Rogier with it. He's guarded by White. Shot clock at five. From 17, here's Ojale. Nails it from three. He's got five. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Here's White. It's blocked. And here's Sadoransky. Seven points in the game. Marking it outside. To the paint. And it's Rozier. That time on the assist by Markkinen. Rozier's got 14. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Williams with the screen. 
And it's Ball off the drive. And that one is stuffed right through. Uh, and, and that's the toughest from Ball, accepting the punishment and powering through it like a champ. Caruso, he's checked in for Chicago. Second team foul. At the line for the Bulls. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One, One shot. shot. And that one falls for Ball. Baltimore leading. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. Lonzo That'll Ball. be a second foul of the game. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Pass to Rozier. From 13, it's hauled in by the Bulls. Caruso's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Ball. Back to Caruso. Deflected. I'm going to step in the right direction. Marketing must continue to make these kinds of efforts on defense. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's his fourth personal yeah, foul. Yeah, when it comes to Terry Rozier, he needs to welcome more responsibility. Started out as a role player with spark plug off the Terry bench, Rozier but the now he's starting coming to play. Taking two team. shots. Free throw good from Rozier. What makes Rozier effective is how he uses his speed and athleticism. See Webb, he can be really terrifying penetrating inside. And you gotta love his energy. He wants to play as many minutes as he can. He's a true baller who takes on challenges head on. I mean, that's the kind of guy you love having on your team. Both free throws good from Rozier. And see, Webb, you had such a well-rounded game, especially for a big man in your era. How do you think your game influenced big men that are playing today? Well, I definitely see parts of my game, you know, and a lot of guys that play today. And hopefully uh, the fact that, you know, I proved that as a big man, you can step out, you can ball handle, you can pass, uh, you can just be a player. Hopefully that allows them a little bit of freedom to do their thing, because these players today are great. And even if I see parts of my game in there, man, they're doing the work and they're taking the game to the next level. Now here's Sadoransky. He's got seven. Pass to Rozier. Now favors. Covered by Vucevic. Down to five on the shot clock. Out to the right wing. Here's Sadoransky. Rebound by the Bulls. DeRozan's got five rebounds tonight. Outside, Williams. Ball outside. Shoots from 14. That one's good. Seven for 10 now. Progressing on the offensive end on the floor is crucial. Ball continues to have games like this. Pass to Rozier. Markkinen sets a screen. And here's Sadoransky. The three is up. Caruso grabs the board. Williams against Robinson. DeRozan outside. Vucevic, a screen on Markkinen. Shoots from 12. Another shot. Vucevic gets the bucket. A player that seemingly inhales rebounds. Vucevic attacks the glass with great energy. The loudest and craziest fans get a free t-shirt. Let's hear you, fans.
Ladies and gentlemen, the lovable. Gordon, he's checked in for Sadoransky. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. Marketing the pass to Rozier. That shot missing. And the Bulls going the other way now. His field goal percentage has dipped this quarter. I mean, his movement has to be better. He has to find the open spots on the floor. Pass to Caruso. Favors against Vucevic. Ball outside. On the take. Now here's Williams. Over Marketing. He got a piece of it. Robinson passes to Rozier. Back to Robinson. Over to Rosen. That's good from Robinson. On the assist by Rozier. Rozier's got his fourth assist in this one. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Baltimore. All those block shots, that's a clear indicator of the great D they've been playing. Not giving them an inch of space out there. Also, you can see how they've gotten after it on D. The steal numbers are something they have to be proud of. He didn't have his feet planted. Chicago making some changes. Deadman's checked in for Vucevic. Green comes in for Williams. And it's Ennis in for DeRozan. to green here he goes clock at six baseline jumper it's deflected and it's out of bounds still Chicago's ball Trail by nine. The ball goes to the away On Wednesday, they'll be playing against Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. Checking out their schedule, they've got a tough run of games coming up, but quality opponents are a great chance for you to see how well your team can truly perform. Gordon outside. Pass to Robinson. That's tipped. Tennis on the wing, looking for his first basket still in this one. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. To the left wing. Back to Green. Pass the ball. Shoots over Robinson. Ball no good. Nice work to get good position inside. He just can't quite get as good a look as he wants. Here's Favors. Gordon outside. Back to Favors. Stolen by Caruso. And now the Bulls in transition. And Eric Eleven Gordon gets five. the whistle that time. Eric That's foul number two for him. That's his second personal foul. Fourth team foul. Here's Caruso. Inside. 
Here's Ennis. Banked it in off the glass. And Coach is loving the ball movement. Baltimore leading. Pass to Osmond. Favors with it. And the dunk by Favors. An exclamation point on that slam. I mean, think about it. The big guy knows a thing or two about the highlight. Here's Ennis. Over Favors. The rebound by Osman. And the Barons with possession here. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Favors shot is good. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Favors has gone three of four here from the field. Ball against Gordon. Shoots from the line. The rebound by Favors. Favors got his seventh rebound here tonight. Bulls foul. Alex Caruso. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. Bulls on D. 11 point game. Over to the wing. Favors with a screen on green. Here's Osman, and he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. And there's the foul against Chicago. Shooting for the away team. Jenny Osman. Two shots. First one falls for him. The Bulls making a switch here. White's checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And really strong at the line since the break. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Gordon pulls it in. His offense has been non-existent tonight. It's really hurting them. Outside Robinson. Pass to Gordon. The floater, and it's blocked by Deadman. Down low. Here's Caruso. Oh, now he's going to be walking a tight one. One more foul, foul. for his night. Is a 15 foul. At the line for the Bulls, Alex Caruso. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Ojale, he's checked in four favors. on both and we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half now Gordon 15 points in the game here's Osman that shot off Osman's gone just one of five shooting from the floor pass to Caruso back to white and he dunks it what a pass to set him up oh, clear for takeoff Kobe white the 6 4 guard has some lift Gordon against White. And it's blocked by Deadman. And so it looks like the Barons will retain possession here.
from the inbound. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. They have ridden him today, and it has paid off in a big way. Shooting from the away team, Eric Gordon. One shot. Gordon, no good on the free throw. Chicago with the ball. They trail by 11. White with a screen on Robinson. Outside White. Back to Ennis. Just five on the clock. Goes up at the stripe. Gordon pulls it in. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. A minute six left in the third quarter. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. And when he gets going, Gordon can be a very hard man to cool off. I mean, he wasn't a sixth man of the year for nothing. Pass to White. Drives to the hoop. Ooh, a two-handed power slam. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Hey, from beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Here's Caruso. Pass to White. It's Ennis on the wing. Blocked! I don't know if it's been the main factor, but this off night has definitely been one factor here. Here's Ogile. Rebound by the Bulls. Deadman's got rebound number eight now. Here's White. Would love to see more of this from Gordon, showing he can make a difference on defense. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. It's the Barons. They lead by 11. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Yeah, he put it on the platter and served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. It's the fourth quarter. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Kobe White out there with Lonzo Ball. Then it's DeMar DeRozan. Then it's Patrick Williams. And it's Vucevic in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for the night. Rozier against White. DeRozan outside. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. DeRozan's gone four of ten here. Pass to Sadoransky. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. That's his third foul of the game. Favors checked in for Ogile. First team foul. Coming onto the floor for the away team, Derek Favors. Rozier outside. From outside the arc. On oh, target from range. Rozier's got 19 points. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, they aren't just chucking up anything. I mean, they're doing a great job of creating quality looks. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Rosen finds Williams. 
White against Rozier. Oh, Favors with a block. Denied by Favors. Normally a guy in the top 20 range of the league in swats. Pass to Markkanen. Favors in the post. He's guarded by White. Shot clock at six. Back to Markkanen. Fires for three. Ball with the rebound. Markkanen's gone just one of five from the floor. Here's DeRozan. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. At the line for the Bulls, Jamal DeRozan taking two shots. Shooting two. That's good from DeRozan. That one falls, so he hits both of them. He couldn't get to the line once in the first half. Coach must have really talked to him at the break. Marking it outside. Back to Sadoransky. Vucevic with a steal. DeRozan with the ball to the inside. Here's Williams. The rebound by Markkinen. Markkinen's got his fifth rebound in this one. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Pass to Rozier. There's the drive. And it's rejected. And that's out of bounds. Last touch by White. Team ball. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Rozier, and so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Kobe White, Kobe White picks one up. That is for Rozier is scoring. Part foul. of that is using fakes to get to the line. Shooting for the away team. Teams. Terry Rozier the third, taking two shots. Free throw good from Rogier. He's perfect from the line this time. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. to the paint. Here's Ball. Count it. Now 8 for 13 with that basket. That added muscle helping Lonzo there. Looking stronger and more confident on these takes. Marketing outside. Pass to Rozier. It's hauled in by the Bulls. White's got six rebounds in the game. Williams passes to White. Now DeRozan. Williams on the wing. Here's Vucevic. Five to shoot. White drives in. Vucevic, the pass to White. Oh, favors with a block. Here's Osman. The shot, no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. White finds DeRozan. Ball outside. Pick by Vucevic. Right wing. The three. The 
Rebound by Markkanen. Markkanen's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Osman. Hounded by Ball. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Ball. To the middle. And the power finished by Vucevic. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. Yeah, going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovable. Check in with Allie LaForce. Hey guys, over that break, I was able to catch the message that the visiting team coach was giving to his team. He told his squad to pour on the gas, saying, quote, we hold the lead. Let's keep growing it. Be aggressive. This is no time to let up. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. And the Barons with possession here. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Pass to Rozier from deep. And it's Chicago with the board. He hasn't been able to find any kind of groove this quarter. I mean, it seems like he's been running on fumes since halftime. Now here's DeRozan. And stolen by Markkinen. And here's the fast break. Oh, they need this. Osman with the bucket. Oh, man, what a smart feed for Mark. And I mean, I like to see him do that more. Get his teammates involved. Ball passes to White. Vucevic, a screen on Rozier. Pass to Vucevic. Over Rozier. Six on the shot clock. No good with a fallback jumper. Sadoransky outside. Now favors. Here's Osman from the arc. Fires in the triple. Once he turned it on, he became a force in this game. Not sure where this guy was in the first half. Williams with the screen. Takes one from 10 feet. And Ball gets it to go. Ball's got four points in the quarter. As hot as he's been, it, it still has to be him who leads the charge and helps turn this game around. Pass to Rozier. And there's the drive. And Vucevic with the block. And here's Ball. Here's the three. It falls. And now he's 10 of 15 shooting. Nice work. This is the mindset Ball has. If you're not going to guard him closely, he'll torch you off the path. White against Rozier. Market it outside. Rozier with a screen on Williams. And slammed at home. And a foul. A chance at another point at the line. Kobe White picks one up. Showing he isn't soft. When Markkinen dunks it like this, I mean, you can tell he's sending a message. That's his fifth personal foul. At the line for the away team, Lowry Markkinen. At the line for one.
Timeout called. Shoot the Bulls. Timeout. You know, one of the stories here, Terry Rozier. Man, is he getting it done today? Oh, yeah, no question what they'll be talking about in this timeout. They need to figure out some way to slow him down. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Get up and get down for the Lovable. Let's present our New Balance player of the game, Terry Rozier. Can you say vintage? <laughs> wow, this was a vintage performance. I mean, so much of the game is about the three ball today, but his focus was going hard into the paint and doing damage from inside. You know, the way they've been playing lately, they needed him to take on a bigger role. He gave them the critical boost they were looking for. So it's Chicago now. It's a 13-point game. Ball finds Williams. Outside White. Vucevic, a screen on Rozier. Pass to Vucevic. Three-pointer off the mark. Rozier against DeRozan. And Rozier, here we go. Here's Osman. Here's Favors. There's the block. And he's able to get it back. Sadoransky outside. Four on the clock. Hook loose. Ball with a steal. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. White with it. Now guarded by Rozier. Tries to keep it alive. Sadoransky outside. Marking it outside. Pass to Rozier. He got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. With the depth they have at that spot, they're more equipped than most teams to handle that kind of loss. At the line for two. Free throw good from Rogier. Ogilvy, he's checked in for Osman. Both free throws good from Rogier. 
And here is DeRozan. Williams with the screen. It's DeRozan with a drive. And the dunk by DeRozan. And when he's got momentum on his way to the basket, DeRozan is going to finish hard. No reason to take any chances there. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Marking it outside. Rozier outside. Sadaransky outside. Six to shoot. Back to Rozier. And there's the whistle. That'll go on Terry Rozier. That'll be a second foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. And so here is Chicago, trailing by 13. Markinen against Williams. Pass to Caruso. There's the drive. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Here's Ball. Five on the clock. And stolen by Markinen. Here's Ogile. They get it back. Here's Favors. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his fourth rebound in this one. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Ball passes to Williams. Rejected. Now Sadaransky. Rozier outside. Markkinen with a screen on ball. Rozier with it. Guarded by Vucevic. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's so difficult to stay with Rozier. With his third so many shots. This is one of my favorite moves. Shooting for the away team. Terry Rozier the third. Taking two shots. Two. And the first one at the line is good. Both free throws good from Rogier. A good sign that he's getting to the line a lot here in the second half, putting pressure on the deep. Pass to DeRozan. Takes it inside, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Favors. Remains Chicago ball. Here's DeRozan. Yeah, ever since the break, he's just struggled to find his shot. DeRozan's gotten five shots in 13 tries. Pass to Rozier. Now here's Markkinen. Williams defending. Here's Ogilvy. Four on the clock. Let's it go from the wing. That one a little long. Sadoransky's gone three of nine shooting. Here's Caruso, covered by Sadoransky. Pass the ball. Back to Caruso. Picked by Vucevic. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Laurie Markkinen. That's his fifth foul. That's his fifth personal foul. Third team foul. Now here's DeRozan. Not a lot of room. 
Two minutes remaining. Clock at six. And it's Caruso on the take. Count it. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, it's the attack mindset. I mean, that helped him prevail right there. Sometimes you just got to go with your gut. Now here's Rozier. Sadoransky outside. Back to Rozier. Rebound by the Bulls. Vucevic has got a rebound number five here tonight. DeRozan passes to Ball. Off target with a jump hook. No need to rush here. Take your time. Take your time. This is where you can reset and try to get a good shot. Marking it outside. Three-pointer Rozier. DeRozan with the rebound. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Oh, man. An awful display from him so far. But you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Barons. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. And they'll chalk this up as their third win of the year. And that's an important win. You never like to lose two in a row to a team, especially if you only see them three times. And they got a lot of great solo efforts tonight, but probably none bigger than the performance for Terry Rozier. Wow, he owned this game. He never stopped working. He did it all for them, and you can't help but admire that kind of effort. Inside, here's Caruso. Kicks it to DeRozan. To the wing, right side. There's Ball with a three. Sends it home from three-point land. Now, with the smaller defender on you, that three-point is too tempting not to take. That so it's Baltimore easy. picking up the win. Boy, a nice Thank win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Chris Weber, and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We thank you for watching tonight's game. So long, everybody.